Hi, welcome to my tutorial on how to make a split avatar. First thing you want to do is um, make yourself uh, the outfits you're going to use and click them in your saved outfits. Um, the easiest way to do this is to use uh, poses that are on the avatar itself, okay, like an accessory, because you'll snap into it and you won't have a problem. Next thing you want to do is make sure you have a background that's solid. It makes it a whole lot easier. And um, then we're going to get started. I'm going to hold down the shift key and click on the 8. That will give you that little starry thing like uh, that's right above the 8. And then put H-I-R-E-S-S-N-A-P and hit enter. What that does is it takes the picture and drops it right to your desktop, okay? Next thing we're going to go and we're going to change our outfit. And hopefully this works this time. and make sure you're in the same pose you were in and what it does is it sets the camera automatically for you so you don't have a whole lot of trouble and do the same thing that little star thing h-i-r-e-s-s-n-a-p enter and if this worked right yes okay I got both pictures okay whoa I don't know what I just did I'm not sure what I just did, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do next is get them out of my way. Is I'm going to click on one of the pictures, okay? And what that should do is open it up. Oop, didn't work the way I wanted it to. Okay, so we're going to do it this way. Open. And go to desktop. Okay, here's my first shot okay now what I do to make it easier on me is I take my pencil my paper and my pad and I start making notes so I get the same measurements okay let me move this a little bit so we can see what I'm doing I come across here to where I wanted to go uh, about here so that's going to be 556 and then I'm going to come across again Let's say that's 11.24. And then I'm going to come down to about here, which is 2.80. And I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom. It is 18.44. And we're going to find a spot. Oh. Before we do that, I'm going to take my little box tool, my rectangle set tool from here. And I'm going to go onto the line. So I can outline this here. Then I go up to image. And I go down to crop selection. And now I got my picture, okay? Now you want to do this to both of them, okay? Let's see what's next. I'm going to open the next one. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing, hopefully. I'm going to bring my line across to 556. Pin 24. Uh, 280. And 1844. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my tool. And I'm going to make myself the box around here. Again, image. Crop selection. Okay, now we got our two pictures. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring my line over until I think it's about center. And that looks like about 296. I'm going to write that down so I don't mess it up. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take that same rectangle box. I'm going to put it right in the middle, drag it down. Then I'm going to take my eraser. Oops, missed a step. 
before you want to do all this uh, is you want to get rid of that green click on this uh, transparent alpha and hit delete okay that'll get rid of all that for you now you take your box tool and then you erase this side over here sorry about that I was getting ahead of myself and what you're going to be doing is actually erasing half your body okay that one's done move him out of the way I'm bringing the next one same thing I'm going to click on my thing go on the layers transparency alpha plane click delete okay and do the same thing bring your line over to 296 Come on. sometimes it's hard to get this thing to move the way you want it to and you're going to do the same thing but the opposite side this time and erase that side move that one out of the way bring this one back click on this one and drag and drop it into your thing well I can't do it here so hang on because you can usually do this but the video is running so I won't be able to so hang on one second okay once you bring it over and drop it where you want it you just start playing around until you get it to where you like it a lot of times what I'll do is I'll take this center line out so I can see what I'm doing and in this case I'm just going to bring it in to make sure I look pretty close to where I want it to be easiest way is check the face see everything here is lining up almost perfect okay and then we'll bring it back out to where we were and then file save as uh, I'm just going to save this as M1 and save it leave it as a PNG save it anywhere you want I'm going to save it to my documents save export save and let's see if it saved it and there it is so you have a split Abbey now and that's all there is to it hope that helps if you have any questions please feel free to get back to me and I'll see what I can do thank you